have the win over the Rangers in Arlington, 6-4. to four. They now have five straight wins. Mike Stockton earned the win his fourth this season as the White Sox disposed of the Blue Jays, 4-3. to three. Sorry about the technical difficulties here at the end. Got a little bit longer because I don't want to end that way. Home run and three RBIs, helping the Red Sox take care of the Braves, four to two. I wanted to cast that way. More technical difficulties and. You don't deserve to win, you deserve to lose. Get swept, get swept badly in all three games. Do one more series. I have a proper conclusion this this cast instead of something. Nope. You weren't winning that game. You're being swept because you deserve to be swept. You deserve to win, you deserve to lose badly in every game. You're not winning, I told you. You do not deserve to win. Do we swap? Lose? Properly, you fucking pussy. Pussy! You have no balls, you lost your balls! Rose properly. You're not gonna win, does he? You don't deserve to win. You're a cheater. You just don't get to win. You just get to lose. Lose badly. Lose. 14, 15, but nothing. Don't get any runs. Get one hit. Get. Welcome to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Starting in the AL East, the Yanks totaled 13 hits as a team as they grabbed the win over the Rangers in Arlington, 8 to 5. The win was their sixth straight. At Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Sorry, but again, the technical difficulties. I just. Oh, for five against this fucking weak ass pitching. Tells you you don't deserve to win. You gotta fucking cheat me? You gotta play like shit? You gotta get what you deserve. Loser, Bill. Hey there, baseball fans, let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. Looking first at the American League East, the Yankees combined to give up just five hits as they grabbed the win over the Rangers in Arlington, four to one. The win was their seventh in a row. Nick Gonzalez drove in an impressive five with two home runs as the Rays claimed victory over the Orioles, nine to three. The Blue Jays combined for 10 hits as a team as they took down the Chai Sox in front of a home crowd, 6 to 1. I've got to play Boston and that, or I probably finish tonight. Despite the technical issues. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. So now let's take a look at Joe Girardi's lineup for the visiting Yankees. No, there wasn't. What's the key for them to continue this winning streak? But this team is so... Sir Dudenstein is Dudeness. We'll dig in now. He had three hits in that ballgame on Wednesday. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it. Atkins. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. so far the end of the should be and this will kick up against third and being waved on home and they're gonna take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score and as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Well, I'll tell you, anytime you go through a streak like this where you just keep getting base hit after base hit after base hit, you know, people start to take notice of what... Sir Dudenstein, his Dudenstein triple homer run last time through, so let's see what he's got in store this time. Yeah, he already got to show off those wheels, so let's see if he can make it happen again in this at-bat. Here's a fly ball well hit. Cochran racing back. Yeah, gone. Solo shot to right center. Number 36 on the year for him as the Yankees have taken a 4-1 to one lead. Sometimes... These pitchers, they let their egos get the better of them. But here, instead of working the corners, maybe using something with a little more movement, gives them a straight challenge. Sir Dudenstein, his Dudeness, will stand in yet again as we flash it back to the middle innings. This was a turning point year, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame for this I'm only up 3-1 at that point, so. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. If they second. Oh. Well, this is a pretty good job here by that runner on first of sensing right away that this ball was going to make it all the way to the monster. So he never even hesitated with his break, and he winds up making it all the way around to score. So standing in, Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, and he's got the tough ones out of the way. Only a single, and he'll have the cycle. And he's obviously seeing the ball really well today, and his teammates are up on the top step, cheering him on, trying to get him that last hit. hit uh, down yeah. towards second. Throw on the first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. People always say, you know what? I hate when 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 your best argument is, oh, it's in between the lines. Maybe because you have to project something as being in between the lines, is because it really wasn't there in the first place. I always find it funny, like these these sort of. We're here. I always sort of. I never believe these sort of the weird, fucking, stupid, in between the lines or things. Always have been so many uh, fictional things. I don't believe it when sometimes. We're, 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 but were just a lot of these characters. Out of a lot of these, they want to check things. They want things. There and when they find somebody to finally finally say, "Hey, guess what? You're right along," even though it's against everything that is in, history, in the character's history, he is safe. He's on the base again, line game. I'm too too because that guy was safer. A second. 
he was on the base when he tagged him. I don't think he tagged him. No. Bullshit. Stepping in and ready for another shot. So Dudenstein, his dudeness, he flew out in his last at bat. And that's just not really oh, his bullshit. game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of feeding out a hit. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Jew ranging back. He, he didn't catch that ball and ball and further. Man, you liar. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar. Stop fucking pitching out! I am not popping it up. That ball should be over the green monster. You are lying again, game. Lying. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will stand in to start out the 12th inning of play. And it starts to become a war of attrition once you've reached this point in the ballgame. Yeah, we're getting to the point where there's some really tired legs out there on both sides. The ballpens have been working overtime. Heck, even the announcers... Multiple of runs. This game should not be any extra innings because I have fucking multiple of runs. We put his fucking past four runs. So again, fucking lying. Walking, I'm at home. I score because it bucked the back box. He's safe! He is safe! That is a hope, but call it what a replay! The fucking call should be overturned! That tag is late. He is fucking safe. Umpire, you're fired. Look for a new job. You are fired, umpire. You, you fucking, you look. You need to look for a new job. That was the AI fucking lying on purpose to fucking screw my team over. They know I fucking. This game never went the fucking extra innings. I had fucking several runs that should have fucking gave us more than four runs. They fucking cheated that way. He really helped lead his guys to this victory. The final line score. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Harris. Back here on the M. Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Today it's the rubber match of this three-game series between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Sir Dudenstein, his dudeness, will get his first shot here. As you can see, he currently leads the junior circuit in hitting. Oh, he absolutely crushed the ball last month. He hit over 400. One of the most dangerous hitters in that right is now. another home run you are knocking down illegally. Those balls are supposed to be in the stand. I hit them out. You're making sure they're not going out and it's cheating. The ball is fucking behind him! When supposedly he's getting it! Because he moved too late to get it! 
The ball is fucking behind him. Behind him. He moves over too late. The ball is fucking behind him because the ball is fucking not where he is. Again, but that he'd be playing fair because you can't fucking stop cheating. It's not five to three. It's just forty to nothing. It's more realistic. That's forty to nothing. Then you five to three. You motherfucking you piece of shit. Nope. 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 No. Nope. 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 Homo don't play that shit game. Homo don't fucking play that shit. Homie, don't play that fucking bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You fucking ran on purpose to fucking get us out of the inning. Because I fucking continued it. You fucking did that on purpose, AI. You had no business running. You know it. You did that on fucking purpose. That is bullshit cheating, AI. You fucking lie about guys being out when they're fucking purposely safe. When you know they're safe. You lie about fucking guys getting over on. My guy's over on the fucking. You knock it down. You fucking say a ball foul when they fucking, if they were showing a reef, they fucking went challenge that in real life. It would be a fair ball because it went over the fucking foul pole. Again, lying and cheating. Lying and cheating. And being caught lying and cheating. Saturday edition of Inside the Show. I'm Justin Allegri. Starting in the AL East, the New York Yankees put together 10 hits total as they got the win, crushing the Red Sox 7-1. They're on a roll with eight straight victories. The Baltimore Orioles combined for a four-hitter as they took down the Chai Sox in front of a home crowd, 4-2. The Rays allowed five hits in the game as they took down the visiting Blue Jays, 5-1. The Detroit Tigers... Can't tell I'm frustrated because just bullshit. Lying and cheating and people's Sunday morning, welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the American League East, the Yankees swung it well with 15 hits in this one as they took down the Red Sox on the road, 10 to six. There you are. Ugh. It's Monday morning and welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the American League East, the New York Yankees finished off a three-game sweep as they took down the Red Sox on the road. Four to two. 
They stayed hot with their 10th in a row. Looking at the standings, the Red Sox are in third place in the AL East, 11 games out of first. The Yankees are atop the division. They are enjoying a comfortable nine-game cushion. Gavin Eagle got the win as he went the distance. Sorry if I have to wait in it. Just fucking bullshit. As of today, the Orioles sit in fourth place um, in the American League East Division. Let's see, uh, we're gonna be back tomorrow. It's gonna be for today. Um, we'll get back tomorrow. They own a two and a half game advantage. The Blue Jays total eleven hits as they took down the Rays. Uh, Mark eight. At the moment, the Rays. And then the uh, the American League East Division. Twelve and a half games. Friday we continue. We got war. Saturday will be no cast. Sunday will be some guys' worst game. I'm not sure. Then on Monday, Tuesday, we'll finish up God of War. Uh, back here next Wednesday, uh, Monday night also. Uh, Mario Kart 8 on Monday night instead of Sunday night because I don't know, any guy will work or something. I don't know. And Monday night, um, uh, Wednesday, right back on Wednesday, but it'll be Wednesdays. It'll be the show 16. At the upcoming schedule, new channel like we're also going to be playing L2. Uh, next week, once we're done, we got a war. We're also going to be doing other stuff. So, going right to Clay. All that kind of stuff down there. Follow me on social media. See you Go live. Oh, don't go live. Plus, we're going to be and all kinds of good stuff. We've got Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We're going to YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube page for all the places, past, present, future, including our of places. A variety of two of uh, Uncharted. Was the three and Justice got among men? Our playthrough of of so far of uh, God of War. So lots more. Also, all of our MLB road the show mode game, extra road the show mode, and other extra road the show mode games that we don't that do on YouTube exclusively. George Manzanillo had a day to remember amassing an impressive seven RBIs at the plate as the Phillies defeated the Indians 18 to 3. Heading into today, I, I want to do something real quick here. In the NL East, Sorry. Three games back. The Indians are in last place in the AL Central, five and a half back. The Braves totaled 11 hits as a team as they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley Field, six to four. Looking at the standings, the Cubs. Thomas Lynch collected win number two on the year as the Brewers got the best of Miami five to three. Right now, the Brewers sit in third place in the National League Central Division, three games back. The Marlins sit in first place in the National League East Division, one game ahead of second. Clinton Hinckley pitched into the ninth inning with one earned run on his line as the Buccos took down the Reds six to one. As of today, he is in the top five in the National League in strikeouts. As of today, the Pirates are in second place in the NL Central, only a half game back. The Reds are third in the division, three games back. Andres Ayala plated three runs on the day, helping lead Washington past the Redbirds, 6-2. to two. He has now hit safely in seven straight games. At the moment, the Cardinals sit in the last place in the National League Central Division, five games back. The Nationals sit in second place in the National League East Division, one game out of first. The Colorado Rockies got an astounding 20 hits overall as they got yeah, if you want to help me out up at, up at the cast heading into today the Diamondbacks are in fourth there is some links games. that will the do that are at the bottom of the oh shit and it didn't it didn't go right let me do that right 14 hits overall as they push past the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine seven to six Looking at the standings, Egg. the Dodgers are in second place in the NL West, one game out of first. The Padres are third in the division, only a game and a half back. And that's what's happening around the baseball world heading into today. Join us again tomorrow for the latest from around Major League Baseball. You gotta be fucking king, me. Right? 
Yeah. Really? They're just fucking. Alright, guess the song is playing. There we go. It should be. There we go. There, that works. Wings work down there. Okay, about the cast. There we go. Okay, I'm done with some other things. So yeah, we're back tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Eat. It's the great to kill. So till then, let this nightmare end. Eric, cast end. <laughs>